Hi guys, welcome to part 5 of the Luminar 4 photo editing series. Skylum have kindly allowed me to share this content with you guys here on my channel, so I hope you enjoy it. In this one we're looking at speed and editing a photo. Can you make it awesome in under one minute? That was the challenge that Skylum laid down to me with Luminar 4. And they said, can you do some edits in under a minute? Now if you know me and you know my style of editing, I can just get lost, completely lost in the process. Um, and I find it really, really hard to say, that's it, enough's enough and I'm done. So this was a real big challenge for me, but I'm sharing it here with you guys. I hope you like it. Let me know what you think and let me know what your favorite edit is. Um, did I do a good enough job? Because if I did, then I can stop wasting so much of my time in Photoshop. If you like what you see and you don't have Luminar 4 yet, I do have a discount code at Sky10 and you're more than welcome to use that. There's a link below. Let's get into the video. Speed. More speed in editing your photos means more time for you. That could mean more time out taking photos, more time spent with your family and friends, or maybe even learning the ukulele. So in this video, I want to show you some of the best tools and techniques to get your photos looking great in Luminar quickly. Let's kick things off with an easy one and start with this landscape. Here what I'd like to do is just see a little more drama in this image. I think we can enhance the colours and also bring a little bit more detail through in the foreground here. So let's see what we can do. My absolute go-to for most photos to start with is the AI Enhance tool. So let's put the AI accent all the way up and straight away we see we're having a much better result. Let's bring the Sky Enhancer up just a little bit for this one I think. And then from here I think we can increase the structure just a little bit. Nice. And then from here we're going to look at the colours. For this one we're going to go into the Pro section and look at Split Toning. In the highlights, we're going to put a nice warm ready color. Ready orange, that's nice. And in the shadows, we're going to put a blue, just to balance it out, a bluey purple. Let's bring that up, that saturation. And now we can enhance the color to where we want it. The blue, that's nice. And we'll say done before, after, an edit in under a minute. Let's move on to our next shot. While we're rolling with landscapes, let's take a look at this one. The sky is just so drab, so I think we're going to have to look at the, an AI sky replacement for this one. I'm going to come over to the Edit tab straight away, and the first thing I'd like to do is actually enhance the scene with the AI Accent Enhance. A little bit of structure may be good again, just to bring out some detail in the wood here. And already we're, we're improving the photo, but the sky is still that kind of grey sky that we had before. So let's come to the creative tab, come to sky selection and let's put something dramatic in there. Let's go for dramatic sky 3 and come on Luminar, boom. What a fantastic result and straight away I'm really happy with that. From here let's look at colour toning this image. So let's come to colour styles and from here I'm going to put the amount up all the way, much more than I actually want just so I can see what, what's going on here. Long Beach, that looks good. Now let's bring the amount down and I'm happy with that. And there's another edit in under a minute. Here's our before and our after. Two out of six, we're going well. Guys, I'm super passionate about photography and photo editing and that's the sort of content I'm sharing here on this channel. If that's your bag and you're into that too and you want to learn more, why not consider subscribing to the channel? I really am super grateful for every single subscriber I get. So yeah, thanks guys. Let's take a look at a couple of family photographs. Let's try this one here. For this photo, I feel we could bring out some drama in the sky. We could bring our attention into my son here using a vignette to darken the edges and probably a crop may not go amiss here. I feel like he's just at the bottom of the frame a little bit too much and we've got too much sky. So first of all, I'll try the AI accent. Let's drag that up and that's, that's doing a nice job straight away. Structure, I believe this will bring up a bit of detail in the clouds. It sure does. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's come down to our vignette. And what I'm going to do is do a really strong vignette just so that I can see what's going on. Let's feather this vignette so that it's smoothed out. And let's bring the size in. And now let's just put the center of it right over my sun there like that. Nice. And now we know exactly where it is and what's going on. 
we can reduce the amount to where we feel it's a lot more natural maybe somewhere around there now let's crop it bring that down and click done and there we go one more edit in under a minute let's look at our before and our after before and after not bad for a one minute edit let's see what else we can do here we've got a lovely photograph of my daughter patting a horse I really love this but for me in this image I just feel like the green is a little distracting and I'd love to give the image more of a dreamlike quality this really was a magic moment for my daughter and I want it to feel like that the minute is ticking let's have a look so if we come to the looks tab here we can access some looks which are going to give us some great results really quickly within the essentials we have one called mood enhancer let's give that a go that, yeah that's that's done a really nice punchy job of bringing up some details there in the essentials tab let's come to color and we're going to choose the green here and just bring the saturation of that down just so it's not so in your face Let's see if we can bring the pinks and the red of the blossom up there. And I'm going to finish this off with the autumn effect, which is going to give it a glow. You can find that in the portrait tab. And now let's just bring the amount up. And as you can see, if I go all the way, it really kind of blurs the image, but in a nice, soft, hazy way. And that is our edit in under a minute. Let's look at our before and our after. And we've really created a lovely, dreamy look to this image. I really feel like we're going well, so let's push on. Here we've got a picture of the highest mountain in New Zealand. This is Mount Cook, but I just feel it needs a helping hand. It was captured just as the sun was coming up, and it's a really nice image as it is, but it's just a little flat, a little drab. It could really do with a little bit more drama. So let's see what we can do in under a minute. The first thing I'm going to do is use AI Enhance. Grab the AI accent and push that all the way to the far end. Let's try the Sky Enhancer. Well, that's pushing it too dark if we go all the way, but we could toggle a little bit of that in yep happy with that if we bring up our structure that brings out all the detail in the mountain there and that's looking great one thing I love to do is use the mystical filter so if I come to the creative tab and mystical we can bring that up and that just gives it a nice ethereal kind of look so here let's choose a color style just to give it a little bit more of a helping hand with the coloring and we'll crank that up again so we can see exactly what this LUT is doing and as we file through them, we can see all the different looks we're getting. There was one there that was really enhancing that blue of the water. Let's go with Manhattan, bring the opacity of that somewhere around 50%. And we're done before, after. That is a great look for under a minute. One thing I'd like to do is just crop this image to a panorama. So let's get our crop tool. Let's unlock it so we can just go with any ratio we like and let's make a panorama click done love it okay for this last image i want to show you guys how we can make a really effective black and white with minimum time input i reckon we can get this done in under a minute it's our last one so let's see what we can do okay we want to come over to the edit tab and straight away let's do ai enhance let's put the ai accent up quite far on this one and let's come to structure for our black and white we want to have something that really shows off the detail and structure in the image i might actually come into the light tab here and actually use smart contrast on this one yeah that's that's really great he was getting a little little white and washed out there so if we use smart contrast that just brings back all of that nice rich black of the gorilla now all we need to do is a black and white conversion so we'll just click convert to black and white we'll put a vignette over him so that our attention comes right to the face as we darken the edges. Yeah, let's feather that slightly. Nice. And the last thing I want to do is just crop this down so that our attention is drawn more to the face of the gorilla. Let's come right in nice and tight and click done. That's our powerful black and white in under a minute. Before, after, before, after. I'm really happy with that. That's six edits in under six minutes, which just shows you how quickly you can work with these powerful tools in Luminar. When the team at Skylum first approached me about creating a video showing how you can make photos awesome in under a minute, I thought that was gonna be an extremely tall order. Thankfully, with the tools at our disposal through Luminar 4, it's actually pretty simple. As you can see in this video, we were able to create some really stunning effects, really stunning looks very quickly. Those tools are so simple to use that anybody can do it. So there's no reason why you can't start creating your own masterpieces in under a minute as well. 
Guys, happy creating, and I'll catch you in the next video. Well, editing at speed was kind of the, the vibe of this video, and I think I managed to smash out some pretty good edits in under a minute. So if you guys felt that I did that too, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. And this is part of a training series, so catch me in the next video. There should be a little link popping up somewhere, and there's also a playlist with all these Luminar 4 tutorials. So I'll see you in the next video, guys. Cheers.